first time we've had the B&W companion hitch out of this thing. Get the truck bed nice and clean so we can get the bed rug in, get the toolbox in, and finally the tonneau cover. I've been waiting for this day for a while. Uh, we've had some items for the truck on back order and I'm excited to be able to be installing them today. This is my favorite upgrades to the F450. And as I've mentioned in other videos, I am thrilled with the uh, Ford F450. It's been awesome towing the momentum. But the three installs that we're gonna be doing today is a bed rug, bed liner, which was highly recommended from JD at Big Truck, Big RV. Thanks JD for the recommendation. I'm gonna get that installed. And all of these items are from E-Trailer. And we wanna thank uh, E-Trailer for sending us these items to try out. After the bed rug, we're gonna put in a toolbox, followed by a tonneau cover. And I'm gonna be set here for a while with some upgrades for the truck. Warning, improper installation will result in bed liner flying out of the truck. That would not be good. <laughs> so the first thing I have to do is to pre-assemble the bed rug. So the cool thing about bed rugs is they are pre-made to fit your truck. So this is specifically made for the F450. You can see how it's got these grooves that will fit right down into the truck bed for a nice tight fit. This thing basically comes in just two pieces and you zip it together right here. So here's a tip as I'm discovering zipping this thing together. Do it upside down. It goes together a lot easier. Back's a little sore after that. <laughs> So the bed rug actually attaches to your truck with some really heavy duty Velcro strips. I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching these to the bed rug, leaving on the adhesive until we're ready to actually attach it to the truck. Pretty good, I got one extra one. <laughs>
So now that I got the bed rug in the bed of the truck, it's time to remove the adhesive. And uh, actually I'll back up a little bit. We've got some uh, isopropyl alcohol and a rag to kind of clean each area that the adhesive is going to stick to to make a nice firm grip. We don't want this thing blowing out on the highway. That would not be good. And then start to uh, remove the adhesive coverings and stick it to the bed of the truck. So I peeled back the bed rug. Again, we've got the first couple of adhesive strips right here. So we'll just get a little bit of alcohol on this rag here and clean the bed of the truck really good. It's like a glove. So we've got the tie downs in the back of the truck here. And it's already got slits in here for it. So I can just push it right through. I still have access to my tie downs. Got a nice clean look there. So it's just supposed to hold each one of these down for about 15 seconds. Get a nice, good adhesion here. One of the advantages to the bed rug is, look at this, I can work in here, kneel on it, pain free. You can't do that with a regular spray and bed liner probably camp in the bed of your truck really easily. Just throw your sleeping bag back here. It'd be a nice night out underneath the stars. Yeah, it's cool the bed rug is designed to fit right up underneath these bed rails and fit really snug that way. And you can see right here, we're gonna have to do some cutting around the fifth wheel electrical receptacle here. That's something we'll do at the end. So there's no slit for the tie down in the back here on the truck. So I've got to go ahead and cut a slit in here for it to pop through. And that's perfectly okay to do. And again, gets a nice clean look right there.
So I went ahead and cut around the electrical trailer connection here. Not a perfect cut, but it's the back of a truck, so I think it'll work. <laughs> Not perfectly square. Man, this is way more fun than the mattress install. So this box looks pretty bad because it's been riding in the back of the truck for the last several months. With uh, shipment delays, stuff kind of showed up out of order. So excited to actually unwrap the toolbox and get it into the truck bed now that it's protected. So this is a UWS product, which I believe is owned by Kurt now. And I got this particular model here because it sits below the tonneau cover. So this will be completely covered. Just an additional layer of protection. Looks pretty slick, nice and black. Lots of room for tools and RV stuff. Well, that toolbox was a little bit easier to uh, get in here than uh, the bed rug. Still need to cut the holes for the hitch, and then we can get the hitch back in here. So still not super pretty, but the uh, fifth wheel hitch is going to drop right in here. You won't even see any of that. Well, I am really excited about how this is going so far. Uh, with the bed rug installed, we got the hitch back in, toolbox, and I think this is looking really, really sharp. I like the look of this, and you can see how we can put other stuff in here, maybe even e-bikes, other toolboxes, stuff that you don't want to get banged around, but this is very cushiony and will protect, you know, a lot of stuff that might bounce around in the back of a truck. Yeah, can't wait to get the tonneau cover on. Now to finish off our truck upgrades, we've got the X-Tang Encore hardtop here. I decided to go with a hard top just because it's a lot more secure. I feel like we can keep maybe more valuables in here and you can lock it with your truck key. So that's our last install. So let's go ahead and get it done. So we've got the side rails here. We're gonna go ahead and line them up on the sides of the truck with this little styrofoam spacer they sent along. Cause these have to be exactly equal on each side. So you just 
use this spacer to line it up just like this. But that looks good. We're gonna go ahead and clamp this to the truck with these right here. Yeah, you gotta be careful that this is right up against it because it tends to pop up a little bit. Hold it down there while these get tightened. So this tonneau cover also comes with some drain hoses, which are kind of important because you can collect water in the rail system here. So these will actually connect right here. There's a little drain hose. Twist this hose onto, and then you can add to it with this hose and then feed it out depending on your truck, wherever there's a, a drain flow through. Uh, in the instructions it said you could kind of drill through a plastic piece. I'll have to figure out where that is on this truck, but just mentioning this, but we're going to go ahead and get the tonneau cover on before doing this part. So you can see how this toolbox is designed to fit right underneath this rail system. I can just like slide it right up now fits nice and snug right there. So the tonneau cover will just fold right over it. All right, bed rails are attached. Now it's time to get the cover on. So before we put the cover on the truck, we're gonna go ahead and code it to the truck key first, which is kind of a cool thing. good to get some help when you're moving this around but it's not too heavy then there's a safety tether that needs to be attached this right here just clamps right there helping make sure if you make a mistake on this it's not going to blow off So this won't go down because I've got it locked, closed. So we'll get it unlocked. Look at that. I believe if we go ahead and lock the truck now. So it probably wouldn't keep somebody out with a crowbar, but uh, that's nice. I like it. it looks awesome. When we were still down in Florida, we got the windows tinted. That was a must. It was so hot and highly recommend if your truck does not come with window tinting, you get that done because pretty much anywhere in the US for sure, there are hot months and the window tint is super important for keeping your truck cooler so what i did is just look for a local shop with good reviews and it was about 300 dollars to get the whole thing done very reasonable again highly recommended a little bonus upgrade that i guess works for any vehicle is this sunshade right here this one specifically is designed for the 450 this was a huge help just pops up in here and definitely blocks out the sun. It was less than $50 and works pretty slick. And there we go, all closed up and I really love the clean look of this and the durability of this. 
it should improve our fuel economy as well by having the bed covered a little bit more aerodynamic. So it's been about eight or nine months since we got the B&W companion hitch right here. And wow, such a improvement from the last hitch. Those of you that have seen some of our previous videos, so much more confidence in this hitch. The easy hookup and detachment is awesome. And I can't say enough great things about this. And uh, we'll put a link down below if you're in the market for a fifth wheel hitch. But the B&W Companion, uh, E-Trailer sent it to us to try out. And wow, five stars absolutely on this particular hitch. It actually works great with the system we've got here. The bed rug, the tonneau cover, yeah. It's working great. And I want to thank E-Trailer again for sending us the tonneau cover, the hitch, the toolbox, the bed rug for trying out. And we will put links to all of those down below. So definitely check those out. E-Trailer.com for the best prices on these products. And we want to remind you guys that there is still time to enter to win over $7,000 worth of prizes. We've got an RV generator from E-Trailer, an E-Bike from Electric, and a mattress from Lippert, and tons of other prizes. We'll put a link down below so you can enter. Thanks for subscribing, everyone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Stranger is driving be, my truck. I'll be sure to tell the uh, the Ford dealer after you sell me this truck <laughs> that, you, that you get part of the commission. Meanwhile, since I'm in your truck, I'm going to do some burnouts. Oh yeah, it does look kind of comfy. You ready for a nap, Logan? So ready. <laughs>